What's up family? Welcome back to my channel and if you're reading the title of this video you already know what we are talking about today. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys can know when I am posting. So today is a no makeup kind of day y'all because we are talking about things that we are not prioritizing in 2024 and i'm not gonna waste y'all time we're just gonna get straight in to it first thing we're not prioritizing is religion and i know hear me out because i know y'all just saw my video and if you haven't seen my video go check it out but i know y'all just saw my video about my praise and my worship and my feelings for god but it is not me desensitizing god it is me kind of moving away from religion in general now don't get it twisted i am still a christian and i'm still on fire for god so this is not me switching up but i know y'all have been kind of seeing maybe seeing some of the things that has been happening with some of the leaders in the church and the whole point of me kind of like separating myself from this is because I don't want it to make me feel any type of way about God. Because we have to remember that these people are human. They are not God. They are not Jesus. They are nowhere near perfect. And their mistakes can honestly deter us away from the good Lord, the good book. So me, just to keep my relationship with God stronger, I'm not going to bash these people. I'm not even going to put my input in about it. Well, I might. I don't know. I might make a video on it. Don't know yet. But I am just kind of like taking a step back and I'm just focusing on the word and my relationship with God. And then we can see where these leaders, how they get it together this, you know, upcoming 2024 year other people's opinions i think this one is so valid so i went through a season of like which was so unlike me but i went through a season of kind of caring about what other people thought about me and i think it's just because i'm a youtuber and recently i'm a tiktoker i went viral the other day and you know it's i i've just come to the point where you know i just don't care and that may be with age i don't know because your girl is in her 30s but i'm just at this point where you know i am going to talk about what i want to talk about especially if i know that i'm not harming hurting or demeaning anybody so it's just at that point for me it's just at that point like what are why am i holding back my words why am i stopping from helping and um being you know like a good source to people's lives by sitting here keeping my mouth closed i prayed to god um back in october around my birthday i told him to make me strong enough and guide me through my feelings of feeling i have to censor myself because not everybody will like my opinions and i told him to make me strong enough make me diligent enough make me comfortable enough in my own skin um I never experienced this before I got on YouTube. So I've been doing YouTube for two years. I know it doesn't show it on this, this channel because I closed down my other channel and started this one, but I was doing YouTube for two years. And, you know, I just kind of did trend things because not because I just wanted to be trending or popping, but it was more so like I was trying to play it safe, but I'm just at the season. Like, I don't care what nobody thinks. We're going to talk about real topics. We're going to talk about God and we're going to talk about the world. Something else that I am not prioritizing in 2024 is men. And I am not saying this from no bitter place, girl. But when God gave me my download at the end of 2023, I didn't hear nothing about men in that download i heard about abundance i heard about faith i heard about my business i heard about my channel i even heard about my bible i heard about my kids the directions that we are going through if you have not seen my five g's to success video of what i am doing this 2024 years please go check that out but i didn't hear anything about a man now i'm not saying that god is not going to bring a man to me i'm not saying he's taking away dating off of you know 
the plans for me. I just know it's 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 not giving. I want you to center your focus on this man. But what it was giving is that I need to center my focus on my business. If you guys have not checked out my website, please do. I have been working on this book for, I worked on this book in 2023 for nine months. Yes, it is an ebook, but this is not one of those ebooks that people are just copying and pasting and putting information in, and, you know, charging $6 for. Nope. I created this skincare book from start to finish. It took me nine months. I even did all of the graphics for it as well. It's the ebook, y'all. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is 69 pages of, oops, 69 pages of skincare knowledge. I created all these templates on my own. It is some fun graphics in here as well as things you can do to get glass skin. And at the very back of the book, which is my favorite, is all my favorite ingredients, how they function, y'all, how they function and best times to use them and all of that. Definitely in the skincare game for about 12 years. So please check out the book y'all and you can go on there and the book is $17 and if you want me to create you a custom skincare regimen that is on there as well that is $10 but if you want them both together you can get both for $20 y'all so please check out my skincare website it is superficial essentials link is down below and that is what God told me to focus on he told me to focus on knowledge giving back giving to others and being a better mother and being a better woman. I didn't hear man in there. I'm not saying that he's taking it off the table, but I am saying he ain't saying nothing about that. I think that I am not prioritizing this 2024 year is cussing. And it is so difficult. This is something that I'm struggling with. I have a strong conviction about it, like meaning like, I know that I am wrong in the moment that it is happening. Like, I feel it instantly. But it's just like such habit. And it just takes such a long time to like break the flesh on some of the things that, you know, we are doing. And it's just, it's hard, y'all. But I'm definitely getting better every single day. I check myself. I tell my kids to check me. I know that sounds crazy telling your kids to check you. But hey, I'm a millennial. You gotta understand where I'm coming from with this. Next thing that I am not prioritizing is being lazy. I cannot tell y'all how easy it is for me to after a day of recording a day of you know talking to my kids i will come in this room fall out on this bed turn these phones off turn all notifications off and be lazy and you know i know some of it is justifiable but like deep down in my heart i know some of it is not like i'm not that drained that i'm being lazy i need to be putting myself to use in other places so <laughs> The opposite of what I am not prioritizing for this situation is I am prioritizing not being lazy. Like, so I have made my list of things that I could be doing instead of laying up in this bed and Netflix and chilling with my pillow. There's so many things that I wanna do and I wanna be involved in. I have already planned like 10 trips and I don't have the money for none of them right now, especially the trips that I'm trying to do. I'm talking about Greece. I'm talking about on the boat, on the boat in Italy. You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm talking about that, ski trips. I wanna go to a couple places in Dallas. Um, there's this place called Coco and Shea, which I think it's like a, if, uh, don't, don't quote me, don't quote me, but I think it's like, you can make your own custom perfume. I wanna go to the opera. Um, I wanna play tennis. I wanna do golfing. Like there's just so many things that I could be doing, up doing instead of just like kind of chilling in the bed because I feel like all my priorities are done and I have nothing to do. But you know, I feel like we made some progress. I feel like in this conversation, we kind of got somewhere so your girl I, I, your girl is happy i can't be even happier i can't I, I think there's not a more static cc right now 
So thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. I love you all, but God loves you more and have a good day.